So I wanted to talk, I was talking about uh, some things in my last video, and uh, it was mostly about the Dutch, and um, their republic, and uh, how they charted freedom in the 1500s, and their declaration of independence, and how we just copied it. Almost exactly did the same exact thing, other than our laws have been written by different people and we had different issues that come up. <clears throat> but like the Dutch, we had to deal with Spain and um, Mexicans. <clears throat> so California, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, we had. What was we had a we had the Mexican War, Mexican American War, and uh, when we decided to do that, California was one of the most awkward places for the U.S. and. Um, its start was a much different, you know. I mean, we even during the war they had like a bunch of soldiers who were Mormons on their way to go to Utah. Decided to go help fight out when it, fight when it broke out, and uh, from New York, I think, and then, <laughs> they were going to go back to Utah after they were done. I don't know how many got killed. <clears throat> But we had set when there's a lot of different things going. It was just a, the odd kind of uh, situation for us um, dealing with the Spanish speaking people and um, Spain, Spanish American War, Mexican American War. And um, I know that. There was one person with the same last name as me. Um, I don't, most, a lot of the people who are Elkins uh, were from that original Dutch colony in New York, New Amsterdam, New Netherlands, originally. But there was like three different people involved with that company. And I don't know, but one of them either from the Texas or from the, the family that did, was involved, started uh, building railroad because there were two wealthy families that, that uh, were more wealthy than the, the average Elkins would be. And um, that was one who started manufacturing gasoline and became a share, major shareholder with Standard Oil because they were the first to ever manufacture gasoline and got a partnership with the Rockefeller. And then um, there was one who started a bank in Texas. And uh, I gotta believe the one in Texas was, well, I don't know, I don't know. I'm guessing it, that one was later. So, I'm, I'm, but there was an Elkins. I don't know what family, you know, origin. If it was from the, the New Netherlands Trading Company Elkins, like mine. But they, he was the an ad, adjunct general in the Spanish American War for the militia, which is how they fought. And um, the American militia, but I there was like people from all kinds of you know coming over. Uh, a lot of people from New York came to go fight in the war, and um, you know, 
New York had been established by the Dutch and owned by the English and it's kind of an odd place where the Dutch had originally brought people from all over the, the world basically because of uh, their trading routes and just work for the company or whatever, you know, paid the company to come here or whatever, so. And, um, so we had, you had those. And by then, I don't, you know, the country had been well established, so New York was kind of a different place. And, uh, and Yanks. Um, so they then fought that war in California. My family, right, okay, around the time of California becoming a state. Uh, shortly after the war, one of the brothers of who I am great fourth great grandson to became a judge in California. So there was total pandemonia there, and they were in, in need of law and order right away. And um, so he moved to Fillmore and uh, started the first store there. And then I had an orange, it was the first to grow oranges. And um, and then they elected him a judge. So he was one of the first to bring law and order <clears throat> since it had become you know, after the war. And then, it wasn't a very populated area, I don't think. It was a county. It was like, I don't know if he was, I think he was probably the county judge there, that county. And then, um, I think, uh, it's just, uh, what I was talking about in the last video was how, you know, Spain had been a threat to the Dutch's freedom. They had chartered freedom and um, figured all that out. All that uh, illegal system that was uh, where they had charters for freedom in different regions. And <clears throat> that was in the 1500s, kicking off their golden age. And Spain was trying to take their freedom. And then uh, they made a declaration of independence from Spain, the freedom of religion, because they were trying to do the Inquisition on them. And then uh, they did uh, their Catholic thing. All this Spanish Italians rule the, the rest of the people who are about God and own everything. See, they they believed seriously that Spain owned everywhere and that uh, the Pope had given them all these lands and uh, the ocean and everything was from Spain's, you know. Um, they had quite the uh, delusionary view of the Pope because of early Rome, they really believed in themselves, and nobody believed them in the world. And they had to just, you know, fight Rome, and then when Spain got carried away, they fought Spain, and and it didn't work. You know, I mean, they, they, for for Spain or Rome, they uh, they really just proved wasn't happening for him and God didn't give him that kind of sovereigns, you know. But, um, so, 
You know, they even enslaved the Irish. It was such a little country that could, you know, like picked on Ireland. Ireland got picked on by England too. And then um, it was a big victory for the Irish, the American War Revolution. Most of the people fought in it were Irish. Um, and they were supported by the Dutch and French. But what I see California as, having been an Oregonian and watched the Californians come here, um, is like Spain. Who uh, was a threat to the freedom of of the Dutch, or their free free charters of freedom, the free country they had, the republic. And as we see today, the Spanish speaking place, California, where all of the Mexicans live. Even their constitution and Spanish-speaking people who wrote it during the early times. And um, it's not in, in New Mexico, Texas, all those places. Um, and they got, because there's so much oil, we had a lot of people who have been fighting for Texas. But I just, I've never wanted to go there. When I was in the army, I went there. And it, and it didn't seem like America. It just seemed like this barren, I mean, it was it was just kind of gritty to me. Uh, the people were all sick in the streets, and, and uh, there was just a bunch of Mexicans, people everywhere who were kind of sick looking. And it was um, distraught. They were, you know, just a lot of distraught. And then the people who were white were fat and, and, and kind of obscene and just absurd, you know. And um, it was just uh, all I, I was there for six months in um, San Antonio, and I just. I would not go back. It, I, no healthy people anywhere I went. And I, I went all over that place on my pass every weekend. And um, I, I may have seen maybe five healthy people, I can think of. You know. I just, I couldn't believe it. But I was a medic, and maybe people seemed less healthy to me at the time, and, um, and wasn't civilian, so, but uh, I didn't recall healthy people. Some of the staff at the restaurant seemed healthy. I think, I, actually, I, I'm lying. There, there was some, some healthy people, because I'd gone to Champs. I would go out to Champs, um, and beers and steers, but there was just a bunch of fat guys working at Beers and Steers, and then, um, you don't believe they're fat, but, I mean, they're, like, totally fat, and, um, overweight, obese, and, um, so that's all I, all I remember of Texas, I, it just, just wasn't nothing to me, I just couldn't imagine how it was important to me, um, but I wasn't civilian, I was military. I've never had a desire to go there. It just did not seem important to me. And um, we're doing the sustainability thing and, and you know, I, all our politics, they got a lot of, they want it so important, Californians and, and all this South, California and Texas, so important. 
Uh, you know, they broadcast it. They mass market to who their people are, who people are there in their states. And um, a lot of the the entertainers, they, they mass market the pop singers and stuff are from those areas. And they're not even the same country to me. I, I mean, I, they, don't, they don't even seem to be. I don't, uh, I don't know what it is. I just think there's, there's much of a threat. All those people that live in those places, it's kind of uh, a lost cause. I don't know, uh, as far as it being a, a leader of our country, California, a good example, when it's, it's such a threat to, to, to freedom. There's nothing sustainable about their state. They, they have, the, as much as their GDP is, they have uh, some of the worst culture, and it's supposed to be a culture capital that they made the Spanish-speaking world, you know, California, where all those Mexicans live. And I, uh, I just think it's like a gateway to uh, Spain, right? To try to take away the freedom of the Dutch and now America. They are the, on the vote. Their vote, how many that, you know? Who becomes president? Anything. It's all a threat. That's their strategy. They know that. They, that's why they come here. They want to come here to try to overpopulate to get the vote, to, to give it to Spain. The people in the South, you know. They 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 I remind they remind me of what a Confederate would be. And the Confederates were uh, I don't know, you know, they they went off and, and did the Ku Klux Klan and stuff and um that's just like the creepiest evil to me for a white person. Pro slavery, I hate all that stuff. You know, I don't think about slavery. So, I mean, it's just been the, I just don't want any, any, uh, anything to do with those places. <clears throat> I don't know, and I lived in California, and it was, it was really hard to live there. It was really hard to honor anybody. It didn't seem like the United States. L.A., everywhere. It was just like they're, everybody made up their own thing there, you know. And um, there was no security in the government buildings. I worked in a security company that guarded the government state buildings in Sacramento. And the Mexicans and all the people who weren't uh, Caucasian would just walk right out of the buildings with computers with everybody's information on it, you know. Um, fighting and stabbings and everything at the tax board. I don't, it just, they had no care whatsoever about anything that would, you know, people that would normally, about law and all that, you know, just always killings and fighting in, in town, um, a lot of private vengeance, a lot of, uh, real hatred, cruelty, very violent, the ones that And, and it's weird political things they would try, you know, on white, white females. And 
and um, who are single mothers or, or daughter of a single mother or single father and um, it's like they try to find those white people that can role play out their fantasies to get revenge on whites you know and um, politically too I uh, I don't know you know I just the, the freedom very isn't is it about Spanish people I don't know why you know I don't know why I would until Mexicans really get their own freedom and South Americans fight for their own freedom I don't think that uh, you know we need to bring them to here and um, for sustainable reasons, you know, when we're trading and stuff and um, helping them, uh, it's just really Spain and the Spanish people, there's a difference, you know, because Spain and Portugal and those places had lorded uh, rights over them, different, like a feudal system. And the Dutch had a republic, you know, and gave their people freedom. And that is what Americans did and because of the Dutch. And they don't believe that we don't want to, we don't owe them, you know. They're a threat to our freedom. And, um, I don't know, it's just, it's hard. I mean, I understand the justice is two ways. When um, Americans did conquer those parts of, of the country. And um, using military. But they did win. Um, I just don't know. How it, I mean, I, I don't want it to be the cause of our freedom going away, you know, that, that gateway to the Spanish speaking world is all those states. And, um, it's not racist. It's the fact that they are a blatant threat to our freedom and they none of them seem to care and the few that might say oh yeah I, we fought for your freedom they didn't fight each other they didn't fight Spain over there plotting planning use the Spanish speaking world they vote for AOC and vote for all the politics they do I mean when they get in Congress what good I just don't see how it's not a threat it's been that way ever since they got California going you know so I don't know how sustainable the new world is with Californians um, they, they're their money, their culture money, uh, culture to them, is so, I mean, like, they just go out, they do not give up. They don't care if the rent's so high that they got 13 families in one house or whatever, you know. Um, that's how they want, that's how they're living over there. And um, that is not American culture. That's California culture. So they want Mexican America, you know, and then they have these tyrannical people, no matter what 
origin, whoever they, they came, where they came from. Whenever somebody goes to California, they turn into a Californian and they're not American. The greediest people they become. I don't know. They live immoral. Sex cold started from there. They came to Oregon. As they come to Oregon, our states, the crime's increasing extremely. It's increased a lot, tons, since California started coming. And now there's all these Mexicans. We just had a shooting. Had a shooting. We've had in this little town. In one year, I'm not sure how many murders, but there's been several, and it, it, it's been, you know, there, ever since California started coming here, ever since rock and roll, heavy metal, California, L.A. culture started coming, that's when murders started rising. Um, it's been really really bad and it has a lot to do with California but we also have people coming from Chicago now and stuff because Californians came here <laughs> and um, So that's a, they say, you know, they got all this great culture. We got Elon Musk down there and, and the tech guys, and they're supposed to be who Californians are, but they're worse. They're the hippies, and people who did acid, California be as greedy as they can. I mean, he was a floater. He's never been American. He's never been Canadian. He's never been a uh, South African. He wouldn't, he didn't want to be any of it. He just would use the computer to be like uh, Tron. In the, not on this planet. He's going to go to Mars. He's in the computer world. Not, you know, I think that uh, Oregon took a hit. Definitely, you know, bad when California came here. But being right there next to California, just farther north, it, it, it's reasonable it happened. But we do have a lot of German and a lot of Dutch here. A lot of Scandinavian, which is different than California. Um, so I think, you know, it's still, it's not going to get quite like California, but it's getting there. We have some Anglos, Americans, and then some people from Europe they don't care about anybody who's American. And, um, Of course, most of them say, well, where is America? And they don't have any idea. They just think it has to do with nothing. We people are established by their family. The freedom here was, you know, not established where they came from. It's the Netherlands. And too, in Germany, actually, it changed things around. But, um... They had East Germany for so long. I don't think it's changed enough yet. But I, I just was reading, um, you know, about the start of Spanish-American, Mexican-American, and um, because I was talking about how Spain and AOC 
It was like um, Spain's threat to in the Dutch freedom, where they had the independence, the Declaration of Independence. So they're a threat to our Declaration of Independence here, and which was originally about England and this one. Um, but also, since it was copied from the Dutch, and the Dutch were uh, major supporters and had colonized here also, and um, really volunteered to fight in the war, and were soldiers, and the revolution, and kind of think it was just pretty much the Dutch coming to them and saying, okay, if you're going to do this, do it like Dutch government and uh, build it, you know, charter, we had chartered freedom over there, it just didn't have it, you don't know what it is, but let's do it, the freedom uh, thing, so, they got their freedom still, the Dutch, and the rest of people got, got turned on to it, and didn't, his ancestors never had it, and, um, the Dutch had had it for a couple hundred years, and I think they didn't want to give it up. And um, then it comes AOC. And all the uh, Spanish speaking world, the Californians, New Mexico, Texas, whatever else. 